Hello guys, Smart Polly here. Welcome back to another video. So a couple of days ago, Epic released the 4.26 Preview 1 available for download. And they also showed off the new 4.26 water system in a live stream. And they also mentioned when they would release 4.26 with the water. Uh, but before we get into that, I just want to thank Ryan Brooks and the team over there at Epic for some of the amazing work that they've done on the water system that they're bringing here in 4.26. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get right into it. So first of all, how it works is it's a plugin that you just enable. Uh, there's the water system plugin and the landmass plugin. Uh, once you have those two plugins enabled in your project, you'll just be able to drag in the different water actors that they have. For example, the ocean, island, river, and lake. Now it is important to mention that, that this is all built upon their new non-destructible landscape layer system. I think they added it back in 4.24. Now how this works is you just create a dedicated layer for water bodies and you can just add those in and it works dynamically with the landscape. So for example, the rivers will carve out a part of the landscape, much like the landscape layer spline. In their video, uh, they showed a lot of this, just some of the tools that you can use to kind of manipulate the landscape terrain while moving the water bodies around. And uh, now they did show off uh, all the different water bodies that they have, such as the oceans, the lakes, and the rivers. Now, I'm not entirely sure they're going to be including a water shader, but I think it's pretty safe to assume that they're include the one at least that they showed here in the, in the live stream, uh, because he did mention that he's going to include that demonstration project for download. We can all expect that the water system will come Come with with this nice water shader that they showed off in the live stream. Some of the additional things that they showed were the water interaction. You can see here some of the ripple effects and splashes. Just some really neat interaction here with the water and it will be really interesting to see this be implemented into a lot of games and a lot of projects. If you're going to set up some sort of boat actor and you want it to uh, interact dynamically with your water to give it a more realistic feel. Probably my favorite part of the live stream was when he showed off the Gerstner waves that we saw a little bit of a teaser a couple months ago. And all I can say is that it looks absolutely impressive. But yeah, as you can see here, just really amazing level of detail here on the water. And it actually goes on to show some of the water interaction with the rock here. After the wave hits a rock, just the water flowing off of the rock. It is important to note that, that this is all still very experimental and it's on the expensive side because of the simulation. So we can't really expect to see this in games as of yet until some more details and things are ironed out. Towards the end of the stream, they showed off water caustics, which is basically the little little scattering of light that you usually see at the bottom of a swimming pool or in really shallow water, and it looks absolutely amazing. Anyways, overall, I've got to say I'm pretty excited for the new water system. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Also, he showed off this map that he was working on, at least for the demonstration, and, and I've got to say, it looks pretty impressive. With the 4.26 preview, number one, they also included Chaos Destruction, uh, so this means that you can actually mess around with, with the Chaos plugin by just going in and enabling it as a plugin. Uh, you don't have to build any source build because they've built it right in there for you. So if you guys wanted to play around with Chaos, you can go ahead and do that without a source build. They also included in the preview the UE4 Groom, as far as I can remember, was also experimental back in the earlier versions. Now, if you wanted to try out the water system in this preview, they actually didn't include it because it didn't meet the deadline. As far as the release date on when we're going to get our hands on the water system, uh, we can expect to be able to play around with it in about a month or two uh, from what they said on the live stream they are going to include it in the 4.26 uh, number two preview 
so the second preview that they will release will include it. Now the actual official release of 4.26, we don't know when exactly that is. They haven't announced a release date for that, uh, but we can expect it to be maybe a month even further from uh, the second preview. So maybe end of December this year or January next year. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I just wanted to make a quick video showcasing some of the exciting new features that are coming here to the Unreal Engine. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one.